Hi, I'm Mark Garrison with the Sporkful podcast and blog, along with co-host Dan Pashman. Right now, we are experimenting with ice cream cones. It's hot outside. You're going to be using them, but we believe there's a lot of room for innovation in the cone field. Yeah, that's right. And Greg from Michigan sent us a very innovative recipe that he and his brother came up with many years ago. Greg will get a free Sporkful t-shirt for sending in that recipe. Uh, it's a pretty crazy concept. We're going to test it, and then we're going to get insane. We'll take an ice cream sandwich, slice it up, put it in a waffle cone, and cover it in magic shell. All right, Dan, if your goal was to make my fingers look filthy, uh, mission accomplished, but let's try this guy. Yeah, the shell didn't harden on your fingers, unfortunately. That's what I was hoping for, but uh, anyway. Greg in Michigan, here's to you. Yeah, it's very much, I like, it's not the easiest thing to eat, as, as you can see, but I do like the fact that we've got crispiness on the outside, soft ice cream, crunchiness of the shell, lots of different textures, it's pretty great. Yeah, and do I have anything on my face? Plenty. Dan, here's what I have for you. Thanks, I love ice cream. It's actually sour cream. You gotta read the title, it's called chile con cone. Let me explain. All right, I have a ball of cheese in the bottom to prevent leakage, then a nice helping of beef chili, topped with sour cream. All right, Mark, let's Wait, get it. Wait, not finished. <sighs> Dan, it is not chili con cone unless we have cheese and jalapenos for heat. All right, now you can eat it, but you gotta take a big bite to make sure you get to the chili. All right, let's do it. Well, Mark, you told me to take a big bite. I think you could have taken a lesson from me here. You didn't um, quite measure up. Yeah, I guess I don't have that level of skill and practice. Mark, this was really nice. I enjoyed it quite a lot. The only critique I'll give you is that I felt like I got all sour cream at the beginning of the bite, all chili in the back end because of the way it was layered. Maybe next time I would line the cone with the sour cream so you get you know more even distribution. Oh, I will do that next time, and there will be a next time because I think right now we're starting a movement where savory things can go into a sweet ice cream cone, and we need to push that thing. Yeah, and it's certainly a worthwhile movement, Mark, but for next time, the other suggestion I'll give you, magic shell. So Mark, I liked what you made a lot, but like I said, I love me some magic shell. I know. Yeah, so let's get back to that original dessert and see if we can make it even more insane. I'll take caramel ice cream filled with pieces of chocolate covered cone, place some pretzel M&Ms here in our best attempt at a clown face, cover it in magic shell and throw it in the freezer. Now I'll take a sugar cone, cover that in magic shell and freeze it, and a waffle cone, magic shell, and in the freezer. And an ice cream sandwich gets the same treatment. Take the waffle cone, put in part of the ice cream sandwich, put in the sugar cone. Make sure we fill all the crevices with magic shell covered ice cream sandwich. Mark, I wanna make sure everything's in order in there. Let's flip on the cone cam. We've seen what it looks like on the inside. Let's give this clown his hat. So Dan, this is clearly a crying on the inside kind of clown. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've noticed the tears uh, I was thinking up. of more as sweat from the brow, <laughs> but maybe it's the tears. Maybe it's because his face is covered. He wants to see the world. Should we set our clown free, Mark? Let's see if we can find a face under there. All this right. is kind of a very uh, archeological All project. All right, let's dig in going. here. I'm going to. We need steady hands. That do would a little be, surgery uh, here. Yeah, see if you can open the eye. This the ice tough. cream underneath is melting, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think it is Come good on, too. Mr. Clown, let's see that happy face. Why don't you try, yeah, hold on. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, it wasn't the most accurate <laughs> clown in the first place, but if we still have uh, one eye in there. Yeah. You know, like, uh, so. This clown is gonna scare small children, definitely. This clown, let's call it left eye. <laughs> I'm just gonna crack this, let's just. Go for it, yeah. All right, yeah, that'll do it, yeah, because we got a lot of layers of flavor in here. Yeah, we got to get a little right. bit of everything in here, folks. Like this, this is... I want to get one clown tooth. I know cones... <laughs> well, Mark, this dish was not lacking for crunch, Definitely right? not. And I do like that if you dug really, really deeply, you could find those pretzel M&Ms. You had a little salt to contrast these mounds of sugar that are in there. So that was cool. Yeah, and the whole thing is kind of cheating a little bit because, you know, you keep adding ice cream and chocolate together to infinity. It's kind of always going to be pretty delicious. Yeah, but what's happened here, we do owe a certain community an apology for what we've done. Sorry, clowns. Sorry, clowns.